Hey guys, what's up? I'm Matt, and this is the eighth My Crazy Podcast. I already said I'm Matt. Uh, what are you gonna? What are you gonna call yourself this week, Josh? Chicken fingers. Chicken fingers. Cool. I love chicken fingers. Dusty B. JT. And to cap it off, I am also Matt. Yeah, I know. I, I I'll name my name as. You my- are redundant as fuck. Word. I was gonna say you gonna go for like four on that one. Yeah, th- that's what my English. Three prof- records so That's far. what my English one hundred and two professor said. Also, he said he said uh, a lot of my papers were redundant. All right, so noted. You two can never write a paper together. <laughs> sure, fluff a lot. And redundancy. Well, no, no, no that I mean. sounded that sounded not so. You know, put a pause on that. I'm no fluff. No, no, he, no he actually lot. he actually I'm good. Fluff a lot. Shout out, honestly, no shout out. Fluff or, or fluff a lot. I'm gonna say this. Shout out to Professor Parker. He actually taught me a lot. He actually got me out of that habit. He no, did get me. Parker's out of that a habit. legit fluff. teacher. He's yeah, just no. an asshole. Well, not <laughs> a lot of people feel that way. I genuinely like him. Like he did. So he, do I. He really but I'm still gonna t- look. That's I like great. me too. At the end of the day. But I'm gonna tell you, I'm still an asshole at the end of the day. Oh yeah, no, he, he's you're a love blast. He, he, he's got pretentious. He's got pretentious qualities. I'll oh, stamp on his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I I actually genuinely like him because he actually taught me some shit. So I, Thanks. I don't know Likewise. who you guys are talking about. I never had him. College professor. College cool professor. guy. Really Just cool. don't be a female. Go yeah. to college, kids. If you're a female, he's going to hit right. your guts. Oh, damn. I did, I we're not going it. that far. All right, so... Kids, <laughs> don't go to college. It's a waste of time. First don't topic. listen to your parents when first they say that. Word. First topic, uh, Takashi69 and the Charlemagne interview. That was... First of all, we're just going to say we're not getting involved in the 6 9 game thing. That's out of our realm. We don't want to get involved. But I want to talk... I don't want to get shot. I, I don't want... So, I just want to talk... So, we're just going to talk about... <laughs> I didn't hear about that shit. Look, I'm the guy that says the things that y'all are thinking, but too afraid to say the things. I told you earlier, <laughs> well, no, no, I don't right. care about it. Right. I don't care about I'll, it. I'm I'll, good. No, no, no. All right. I'll say this. None of us are gang members. The stuff they're fighting over is gang stuff. It's we don't not wanna, related to us. Yeah, what we don't want to get involved. Bro, that we're was not, the most professional you've ever been on this show. We're not, we're not getting, we're just not getting involved. This man's like, oh yeah, I was watching a uh, fucking. They'll handle it. Rape porn the other day. <laughs> and I, uh, you know what I mean? And then Don't, when it comes to that's even dark for gang violence. Like, sorry, <laughs> who like, said this? Man, no, he's talking about because I talk about porn, but when it comes to because the I don't, creepiest he's porn, exaggerating. we're not I, talking about because oh. porn is porn See, is. I don't put it past. He got him. like no filter for everything in his life. We start talking about bloods and crips, and Matt's no, like, I don't want to get involved. Just when that goes up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want. We're not getting involved in that, but I do want to talk it's about because he sh- actually might die. Yeah, there's real risk. People that that's there's real people involved. We don't want to get involved. So. <laughs> hey, so yeah, studio. So we're gonna talk about the Charlemagne and Six Nine rented. interview though, because that was hilarious. Yeah, as usual, Charlemagne has the best interviews. Listen, Charlemagne. Was I don't really know what happened to Charlemagne though. He's kind of like seems like he's not. Like, he's woke. He's woke now. Oh yeah, that that's what it is. Yeah, he's, woke, went, he's woke as fuck. Now. He went from being hard to to woke. Hold up, I mean, if you he want was, this, I want you to define woke first though. That shit was hilarious. That's all I'm gonna say. Well, no, because it was funny. It was definitely it's hilarious. Because beforehand, he definitely would have been a little bit more, um, uh, he would. I think he would have. His wording would have more. He would have tried to provoke six nine. He would have tried to provoke six nine a little bit more. Ooh. Exactly. Back that's, in the day. That's what now, I'm saying. This time, he was really trying to tell him like, hey, like the path you're going on, it's like. It ain't working. It, there, we've seen this. History repeats itself. We've he seen, came the, at, we've seen, seen this performance. He came before. at Takashi with the real, the realness. Like he just came with like, listen, I don't even need to make you feel stupid right now. I'm gonna just tell you how it is. You still need to get your GED, and hopefully <laughs> you figure it out. Yo, show like me facts, th- like legit. No, show like, me the best interview. No offense, six nine. Like this, and like you know, I've heard you. I've heard your one All hit. Right. Yeah, that that you got out on the radio, like yo, it's it, it it bangs, it bangs hard, dude. Don't get me wrong. If I you do hear this, album. but th- <sighs> I'm a six nine fan. I'm not gonna lie. Yo, I I, you I, know bu- what I'm I bumped I, his I, album. I, I'm a, I will go see him. I'm a, I'll I'll go see him. You I love know that. I'm I love that I'll aggressive. Go see I love him. I love that aggressive music. I'll pay that money. I'll pay that money for, for that <sighs> ticket. I, I, like not. I said, I like his stuff. But I'm like, yo, man, like he Charlamagne brings up a good point. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people have been through, done this shit, and capitalized on, on this thing. I like. I'm not trying to say I don't know the dude personally, so I can't say that. Oh, that if he's putting this up as if it's like you know his his thing, or if that's really who he is. You know what I'm saying? Like. 
you know, I don't know him well enough to, to say that, you know, either way. But either way, he should still, Six Nash should still re- respect Charlemagne's, like, you know, essentially, like, yo, like, him looking out for him, essentially, in a way. Like, yo, maybe slow your roll, homie. Like, Dude, I feel like you've been talking for so long. <laughs> I'm sorry, man, I but just... I was trying to get it out. Pause. Just watch the interview. That's you, don't and even listen to what we're saying. To last just go watch the interview. You stepped on my fucking words every the entire fucking episode. So shut the fuck up. Don't remember it. <laughs> exactly. L- l- think about that, people. You, you got to, some heat going on. Please, this see, every episode. Mm-hmm. Please the fifth. Please the fifth. If you can't stand the heat, get out the hot kitchen. Yeah, and the kitchen is not that hot. But no, it's like lukewarm. The thing I loved about Charlemagne is he always just he kept it real. Well, no, he, he just knows how to... He'll stay quiet for them to, to say what they... Uh, let them get out what they're going to get out. And then he'll hit them with the next question. Word. Which is just as hard as the first one. He, Word. Yeah, and he doesn't even, like... He's like, no all right, break. cool. We got the answer we want. Next question. He doesn't, like... We just need the answer. Yeah, he doesn't we're, let them elaborate on it at all. We're in DMX's house, obviously, as you can hear. Yeah, where my dog at? <laughs> can they hear that? Does that come up? Yeah, the dogs definitely come up. <laughs> Yo, so, shout, out, uh, shout out Pops. That's what happens <laughs> when you rent a studio for Matt Cheap. Right, guys? What <laughs> you mean rent, motherfucker? <laughs> we broke film school out here. <laughs> yeah, man. So, broke film school. New episodes coming very, very soon. Shortly. Shortly. We got set up. We're doing it. Early. But yeah, no, so, but that, so besides that funny interview, another great thing that happened this week is the Deadpool trailer. Yes. Yes. Thank you, I God. I love it. But then I'm also starting to realize Disney's just taking over. Every other like every two weeks, there's another movie owned by Disney. That's you're, you're just realizing this. No, I'm, I've been realizing it the past year, but it's starting to like get scary how <clears throat> much they're taking over. Like they're really, it's Disney. They're like every movie you see now is Disney. I mean, what did you expect? Disney's been around. It was one of the first like successful and major Hollywood industries movie or movie houses. Yeah, exactly. To surpass decades upon decades even beyond um i always forget the name of it the lion uh, MGM. MGM. yeah i'm just MGM. trying to get a job at disney bro facts yeah disney so hire us because you're the only one having movies Shut out and I've, Yo, kids I've been to, to a disney lot of twice things. this great now i'm regretting well, you honestly, ain't got no weeks. job no honestly <laughs> now i'm regretting it. i want <laughs> the only reason i want a disney contract is i want free tickets to disney world whenever i want this man is the big stupid yo, honestly yo, I swear the one God, thing that he I likes more than chicken nuggets would is disney help you dude i want to work for cw sorry disney fuck y'all remember remember the <laughs> cw <laughs> wow warner brothers motherfucker what's it called remember the the valentine's day episode i li- we I literally said rent out uh disney world Y'all like Disney World is my team. thing. When we went to Florida for a mine. music video shoot, this man it was kind of it was kind of sketchy. And I saw us we landed in uh, Orlando, and then we were gonna fly. Uh, not fly. We we're gonna drive to Miami. No, oh, no Daytona. D- Daytona first. But uh, four and a half. It, it hours. wasn't. It wasn't sketchy because the artist. There was like a producer involved. In I don't want. We're not gonna name names. But I just want to say the artist was clear because that video is gonna come out soon. You know, early. I just want to clear the artist. He was cool. Um, but great guy. So Great when guy. we first land, you know, we had problems with the rental car. So I see this senior class going on their senior trip to Disney World. And I start thinking like, because I look pretty young. I, I was like, I almost thought like they wouldn't really notice if someone else just climbed on the bus. Right. <laughs> I didn't go. I didn't do it. I stayed. For, I stayed and I did the video, but it was definitely in my mind. It was definitely almost worth it for Disney World. Yo, all I got to say is Fuck anybody World. who has to rent a car. I Make sure that you take screenshots of every step and everything and every fucking password and code and number that you can for when you do that shit. How long did that take us to go through that hell, Matt? Or that's don't a, smoke that weed. That was a good three, four hours, maybe? <laughs> well, that had nothing to do with it. That it was... had nothing to do with it. We just came off the plane. And that took us like a good hour and a half. It took, it took us long enough. What for... was wrong with I the car? I did drink on the plane. Confused. He did drink on the plane. That's That maybe been, <laughs> that maybe was part of the reason why we, we had problems with, with the rental car, honestly. <laughs> well, no, he was in charge. Him, him and the producer were in charge of coordinating the rental car. No, 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 no. She was in charge. All right, of coordinating, coordinating the, rent- the rental, rental car. car. All right, what the well, fuck we were supposed to show up, pick so up the rental car, and go to Daytona. So we didn't know the rental car company. 
we didn't have the number for for it so we were just sitting there for an hour waiting for a response with the like the email so we could go so we could find out the and i was just going to literally the entire line in the orlando airport which like, there's tons hey, hey uh do you have happen to have a uh a reservation for jim i'm not gonna say your last name well you, everyone you does not care jim why Donahue. the fuck that's the dumbest shit i ever heard why would you do that they're not gonna say yeah, we got you. <laughs> exactly, they didn't. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, but you, you, Jim, no, I'm oh. outside. Yo, I'm outside in the He's great thing about Orlando. Like, I'm flipping on the phone, smoking like a pack of cigarettes. I smoked like a half pack of cigarettes in like all. an hour and a half. Taylor right and Trico are just sitting there chilling. Orlando. They're just like, wow. <laughs> they're just like, this kind of sucks. And then I'm just like, I literally, my head was almost like, I'm gonna either go to the senior class, or I'm almost thinking about flying back. You guys make uh, me more and more glad that I didn't make this trip with me you. Me too. Every, every time, time I hear a story hear about story, it. Yeah, yeah, dude, every time. No, every it ended up being kind of wild. There's just some... There's just some. It was definitely wild. It was a fun trip. There's just like, like some... There's some moments. Moments. You lose pants, you know, something happened. Not me, someone else, but we're not going to mention names. That's, yeah. for, that's for when we get a million subscribers. I'm going to say my Disney World story, and then we're going to bring the person on who lost their pants, and then they're going to be on the podcast... And they're gonna it's talk gonna, about it. Yeah, they, they will have. Yeah, they will yeah, have a story for to sure. Say. Facts. That and I'll the, tell the story about um, my penis enlargement, you guys. Yo, that was so cringe, <laughs> cringy to edit the last episode. You were oh. like, you guys were talking about the, pe- and I was just like, in the episode, I was cringing, like squirming because I didn't want to hear about it. And then I have to edit it. I'm just like, oh this yeah, okay. Well, anyway, so, oh, so yeah. I just wanted to change the subject because. Well, we could That's talk. the dumbest shit I ever heard. Muff, you guys went into the airport and said, Hey, you got a reservation for Jim? <laughs> I, uh, well, it's my buddy right here. <laughs> He's a little drunk, but he'll get us there. I promise. Like, no, no, no when I said I drank on the airport, I had a drink. Yeah, no, he was sober. I Listen, was, that was a joke. He was describe sober. Describe it however you want. If they smell the alcohol on your breath, they're going to be like, Yeah, we got that car for you, bud. <laughs> And it's a Lambo. We totally no, want to no, give you no, the no, keys. No, no, this wasn't the Lambo. Oh, this, this was a Charger. More, okay. No, this, this is a Charger. charger. Well, still, uh, still, still just, just thirty-five thousand dollar car. Yo, we went that motherfucker was fast. High, I mean, now I, yo, I do understand. Honda, but. Hold on. <laughs> I do understand why cops love those fucking cars, because that thing drives like a dream. You know, want, like, yo, you can do fast as fuck. Dude, I would do 105 just to do stand and keep up. <laughs> I think that when when y'all fell asleep on the, the what, four what, and a half hour adventures, yeah, yeah. Fuck a charger, or, you know, bro. in between Daytona, Miami, it's Orlando, all that car. shit, I was going like 126, 130 miles an hour. <laughs> we should not admit that on on podcast. Why? I don't but care. I can't do anything. I about used it. to whip around my cabrio, hit that hunter, and be like, "Woo!" <laughs> <laughs> With the roof down. Spoken heaven is only circumstantial. Mm. Yeah. First of all. Yeah, this is just for entertainment purposes. We're all lying. We don't actually... This isn't even <laughs> <our> lies. <clears throat> well, I plead the fifth regardless. Can I please get another beer? Beer me. We're gonna... After after the next topic. Beer me. All right, on to the next topic. You, you're you gonna get it for me? No. No, on to the next topic, he said. You just said after the next topic. Yeah. So that means, right? No, he said on to the next topic. He said after. Oh. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Oh. But it doesn't mean I'm going to give him a beer. Yeah, I oh. think that's what that means. I don't know what this means. Uh, I mean... <laughs> Alright, I'm going to get it myself. So, I guess the next thing we could talk about is... Testicles. Nah, actually, uh, I I mean... Grow up, Josh. <laughs> Jossicles. I kind of wanted to talk about the walkouts, because... I, I, just, I just feel like some of the responses I've been seeing online is kind of weird, that they're upset of people... Pro- I mean... I'm upset. Listen, bro, the way I see it, bitches just want to complain just to complain. Now, I'm not talking about the protesters who actually know what the fuck they're protesting, and that's the reforming of gun control and et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Those who actually know the research and et cetera, you know, I'm not going to go into the bullshit and waste their time. But that being said, for the fucking retards out there, you know, excuse the language, retards, you know, I don't like using that word. But Stupid facts. people. <laughs> the dumb people out there who don't have a clue as to why they're protesting or why they're marching and they're out there, you know, talking about, well, I'm out here to get guns off the streets and stuff. And so oh, like, yeah. Well, not, well, well that's I not mean, exactly that's what not we're doing, That's going to happen there. Yeah. You're gonna, yeah, you're going to, I mean, yeah, you're going to have to. I'm for it. Well, if not, anything, you're going to have more guns put on the street. I'm for it. I think I think that's great. I think that the away. fucking no, kids it, who it's affecting. I think that the people who it's affecting going and saying no, we're not we're not putting up with this. 
speaking up, I think that's important. I think no, that they should it's be able to do that. That's no, it's a strong marching. message. Don't get me wrong. No, Dude, I think it's, it's when, it's when they I exactly. Think that all of them are, I don't think most... people are skipping school just to skip school for a while. That too, hundred percent. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I think the people that are doing it, we're talking definitely. I want. Now they brought that up. Someone, someone got an argument with me. Yeah, because there's parents out there who are going to tell their kids if you participate in this walkout. I'm going to be mad Yo, at you, so, and I know you don't agree with that. You know what I mean? You know that exists, and it's probably causing lots of friendships and le, yeah, yeah, going on in those schools. Let me let me explain something. Uh, you know I mean? Kids are, you know, you were, you had opinions kids are when worthless. you were 16. Yeah, kids are worthless about about at that shit. age. Yo, but That's what I think about. These are high school kids walking out, man. Fact. But no, this past week, that actually happened to me. There was a video on Facebook that someone shared of, like, a dude saying he's going to sue his, sue his school because the school gave the kids the option to walk out if they want to. They didn't have to. They could have stayed if they if they didn't want to walk out, but since his uh, child walked out, he wanted to sue the school because he feels like they were getting involved politically, and I was just like, I decided to comment, and then someone was just like, no, well, he just ditched because you want to leave school. It's like, you don't know that. He's yeah. and, then they, and then they were attacking, they were like, well, that's what you would do. I'm like, you don't know me. You, you, that's not what I would, how do you, what are you going to say what I would do? I mean, do? I'm not going to lie, I've definitely done that. With with uh, I did I that for the what, blood drive, but it, that's still for listen, a good reason. There was guys, something else that, that happened back exactly. in the day. I gave blood. That, that I gave blood. And still a good reason. To if do it. somebody said to me, and hey, you get you can walk out of school. Of course, I'm gonna say fucking yes. Yeah. But I might have already thought I wanted to do that for that reason anyway. That's well, great that the schools are taking well, the incentive also, to fucking give them that option because you know what? It doesn't just affect the fucking kids. Too. That's why the schools are doing it because it affects those teachers there too. Because not everybody's just gonna fucking pick up a gun and be like, "I'll protect these kids." Facts. Well, no, my thing is that's what people don't think about. You get yeah. paid forty thousand dollars a year and you're getting shot at, and maybe you don't want to fucking hold a gun and shoot somebody. Maybe you don't want to be responsible for that. And sure, maybe the guy in the English wing does, but that's pretty far from the math wing. I don't know if you've all ever been in a big school, but what you know, it's a stupid conversation. Well, no. And not I don't even, want to be a dick, but what if teachers doesn't want to be uh, responsible for those 20, 30 lives either? Also, what, exactly. what happens when the what officer happens, comes in don't? and just sees someone with a gun? What if a teacher gun? doesn't want to be responsible for Ex- those 20, 30 exactly. kids? Like, exactly. Like, I've never, heard like, teachers when, when I was having conversations. I work at school. Oh, yeah. I've heard, te- I've heard teachers literally go, I'm worrying about myself first. And Hell I was yeah. Like, they no, got and kids. I, I'm mad at them. I get it. But at the same time, I'm like, damn, you're just going to bounce on these 20, 30, however many kids? Like... Just peace out on me. Well, I really think it comes down to the teacher. You know, most of the times, I feel like we, we've we seen it in that one school. A lot of the gym teachers fucking, you yeah. know, we're, we're getting in front of the bullets. Why? Yeah, some will. I feel like gym teachers are like, man, what the fuck am I doing with my yo, life? Yo, chill, chill, chill. This chill, guy's no, got a no, whole... No, no. He, he, he's passed away, yo. Like, I'm just saying, like, dude, gym teachers really like... They be they care about students though. Oh no, they definitely care. You about You get students. what I mean? Like it's a different type of caring than just like teaching a kid because he they it's get to see them. Aspect. Yeah, they're coaching us. Most of them are coaches also. Yeah, that's they get why. they get to know the kids. Yeah, that's really why do. it's different. They're like, what the fuck am I doing with my and life, also bro? Too, like, what, I might what, as well put it on the line for these kids. When people are Whereas, in gym like, too, a math teacher. When people are in gym too, they're, they're kids. more than <laughs> themselves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. Than in exactly. a standard classroom. Exactly. Because they get to be the more themselves. That's and, why, bro. Yeah. And that's why math teachers. I don't feel like a lot of them would put it on the line because they don't give a shit about the kids. Most kids hate math. Yeah. Fuck and math. as a result, don't like their math teacher. I I love math. I miss you, Miss Tudre. How many people in this room like math? Oh whoa! Split down the middle. You got a ninety-five average. Uh, money math. I don't fuck it. with you, bro. I don't fuck with you. I knew I didn't fuck with money you. Money math. I got yeah. a ninety-five That's average. Come when school. you need your bank account checked. Bra, 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 bra. I didn't say I like money math. That's that was the only it. class I was good in. Money by math way. is different. Like that doesn't count. It's still math. Bro. I'm talking about trigonometry. Oh wait. Oh. You still need to know trigonometry to build a house and shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. I don't know how to do that. Why are you doing this? I like it tilted toward my face. Yeah, but you can't have it that far. Yeah. It's leaning on the couch. It's a totally supported way. Any justified oh, and p- trained professional boy. in the media arts would agree with me. All right, wait, before, before we go too far off topic, no. I want to agree with your point that if the kids who walked out, yeah, there's kids that want to ditch, but if there were kids that legitimately felt passionate about the opposite, they would have sat in. Exactly. Like, not every kid would ditch just for That's the sake of That's what I was going to say, too. So, like, I always want to preface that. That was my main point. Like, they were saying, 
oh well the kids all the kids are just ditching for the sake of ditching it's like are you telling me that no kid you guys feel the, the people being mad at me comment down on Facebook you guys are mad enough about this are you telling me you guys would actually ditch if you feel this passionate you guys are just gonna ditch instead of sitting in to make your point of the opposition yep like how what like so that shows they're like where they are they just care about, about ditching and we all know what happens on shows- days where there's senior like skip day and one person's in class you don't do anything anyway yeah and, and just hang out with people that are like minded that's probably what happens in a lot of those schools. And that's why I'm for it. Everybody should do it. It's sad that the nobody's paying attention. No one cares. Well, nobody important cares. Well, they're paying attention. They just don't care. And if you're against gun <laughs> control, I'm not I'm not if you're against gun control, that's that's your that's your prerogative. I'm not going to go either way. Me personally, I'm for gun smart gun control. I'm not trying to take your AK. Yeah, no. I'm not trying to do that, bro. But, but at the same time, if you are that way, but if you ditch school just for the sake of ditching school because everyone else is walking out when you feel passionate, essentially you're making the vote too, like the other way. So if you feel passionate about it, you should sit in. I know that's kind of sucks saying stay in school, but like that is your way of making your vote in, in during these protests. If you want to be a lifeguard, you got to be able to swim. All right. Like there are ways to peacefully protest the other way. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just mad that people are mad that other people are protesting. Like if you feel. Just, Protest, don't be like, oh, this should be illegal, or oh, I'm, I'm going to get my... If, well, specifically for this situation, everyone wants to get their guns at, at these protesters, and it just it just bothers me. Because it's like, you guys could exercise your First Amendment rights also. Like, it's you, you can. I don't know. I'm, I'm passionate. I can feel it. What I'm do you waiting, want to say, Dusty? I'm waiting for, for somebody... What do you want to say, Dusty? Oh, man. Um... You just open up a can of worms. Am I wrong? No, no. Uh, so here's my ish, and it comes down to it. Because I respect your opinion. Because well, you, you guys, all your guys' opinion. Because you guys are older, so older opinion, people's I opinions. I don't respect. And it. you know, both Go me, fuck yourself, me, Josh. me and Dustin are both <laughs> passionate tennis. gun owners. Too. All right, tell it, tell it, Justin. I want to hear. Also, to preface, I definitely. Well, fuck, can't even get my name right. I'm in a I household. Said Justin, I just had a little slur there. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm in a household that Sounded also like exercises Justin, Second yeah. Amendment right. I just also want gun control. Just to preface it. So, so I'm not against the Second I'm Amendment. I'm a passionate Here, gun owner. Here's my ish with everything that's going on in the world right now. And, again, I'm all for the the walkout and everything. And I'm all for gun reform and, I'm you know, et cetera, et cetera. Because here's my mentality when it comes down to it. And I don't know how far down the rabbit hole you want to go on this. But these dudes wrote the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, the Bill of Rights... Most of them, the early years anyway, you know, the, the the amendments and all that jazz, most of them early. These were all written at least 200 years ago. Like, we, we, we weren't dealing with the technology we have today. We weren't dealing with the population we have today. We weren't dealing with, you know, a lot of the bullshit we're dealing with today. So we need to revamp a lot of things and... I don't wanna I'm not I'm not speaking treason here. I'm merely just saying that we might want to reconsider what our world is built upon and you know. No, it's a fair we, statement. It's bad. So, so I'm all for these kids, you know walking well, out and I thought and, this guy was gonna argue with us. I'm for anyone and protesting. But that being said, <coughs> do it for the right reasons and that being said, you know, nobody should really be hating on wh- how or why these kids are protesting. They're protesting in a manner that is gets the most attention. F- yes. And it's very peaceful. It's the same thing with Colin Kaepernick. Yeah. They're not hurting anyone. It's, yeah. it's harming They're nobody. They're not physically causing a riot. They're not fucking impeding traffic, like like stopping fucking mm-hmm. freeways and shit, which went, I can't Listen, stand that nobody's going to tell me that I can't riot when I fucking win a sports game. Right? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> right? Well, no. that's the thing. No! Anyone go, they, don't, they, let, they throw these riots... <laughs> They okay. throw these, no, no, they're going, yay. Oh, okay. They only riot when they yeah. win. They, they throw riots after sports ge- after, after heard, sports teams win. Hey, fine. hey, hey, you leave us Canadians alone, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm fine. We no. take hockey very seriously. I'm, no, they, no, they did it after the Super Bowl. After, they, there's always riots after sports games, and then people think that's fine, but then when people yeah, protest. Look at, yo, look at Philadelphia. Fucking, that shit got set on fire after well, the fucking Super Bowl. Well, that was, I think, also partially because Three Meek, days. I genuinely think that was partially because of Meek Mill. I feel like people are, the city is still mad about Meek Mill and the corrupt cop system in general. I think Meek Mill though is now the face of the cor- of the injustice with a corrupt. Cor- you know what system. else too? They greased Free the Meek polls. Mill. I think that's hilarious. Free they had Meek to grease Mill. the polls. They Free anticipated people climbing the polls. They greased them. Hilarious. 
Cops are funny sometimes. <laughs> they grease the poles. Yeah, you didn't hear about this. No, they that's gr- they grease the poles. They <laughs> yeah, anticipated so you can't people climb up the fucking pole. climbing up shit, being crazy. <laughs> yeah. They said, Nah, not today. We're gonna smear these in Vaseline. <laughs> that's hysterical. That's some war- that's like some Hanna Barbera cartoon shit. That's yeah, some real really shit. Is, bro. It worked. It worked beautifully. Yeah. They, so they walked that's away. Wild. Somebody tried to climb. They said, Oh fuck! I got Vaseline on my hands. Nobody's having a good time after that. No, you can't even talk to anybody. Even oh, you try to go and talk no. to oh a chick. Oh my god, you make that work. Imagine you try to go up and talk to that's a chick. Mad. You go give her a hug and give weird. her just what do you like mean? imprint Vaseline like, on her off? fucking back. Because that's weird. Yo, baby, I got some Vaseline. You want to go somewhere? Wow, no, that's no. so creepy no, a little that's bit. That's so creepy. So the title that's of this podcast. I was scared. I guarantee you. Yeah, you guys are you setting up people for quick date I, I guarantee you somebody's going to say yes. Someone dead ass put Vaseline on my lock one time in school. That's funny. Speaking of like school put, shooting, somebody put Vaseline in my lock and I was fuck? ready to I may or hands. may not have loaded up a couple like locks in my day with some super glue. So uh, so they used to shove me in my locker in high school. I could, yeah, you can you fit. got the old school version of bullying? <laughs> yeah. Bro, they, they, they used to put, you, you couldn't put, even fit in the lockers that we had yeah, in my no, school. My either. shit was like the size of my shoe. Well, see, <laughs> I was the type of fat where you could kind of remush me around so like they could Oh, uh, you were malleable. Yeah, I was malleable. They could Yeah, but that's still a big locker. you said you were fat. I was that but they were you just said yeah. that. Were you not paying attention? Yeah, but th- th- I was malleable. That's what I said. The hence, I thought you just said you were fat. Yeah, but malleable like, fat. Malleable fat. Listen, that is still a big locker because my shits were on the, like I said, ergonomic side. Like, so you could fit your book. A book. A textbook. VC's lockers were... Oh, I went to Catholic school. See, I, oh yeah, because uh, you had that. Uh, yeah, no, no, it, it wasn't like money. it wasn't like that. But shut I'm the fuck up! You went to private school. Yo. My locker wasn't that big. It was just like the size of your walk-in closet. You gotta realize the so lockers. I, I have at, friends that went to like boarding school, so like when it comes to like. Ah, oh, bro, that does so, not. We're not talking about perspective. So, we're talking about from our perspective. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna start calling you Papa Doc, bro. You trying to be gangster? You went to a private school. I'm First not of trying all, to be gangster. I, I said. Am. I literally said in the beginning of this topic, I'm not a gangster. I'm not getting involved in this gang shit. This is true. out of it. This ain't gang shit though. I have no interest in gang shit. Yo, Jim, I dare you to chuck all that maple syrup back there. There's maple syrup. I will right do off it. Screen. I will do it. Not right now, <laughs> but it's not full. No, in front of camera. Yo, we got. Uh, hey, listen. For when Super Troopers Two comes out, I will chug yeah. maple syrup. Yo, Woo! that's that's gotta be the oh, that's gotta be, be the be White lit. Castle episode also. Ew, no. I can't chug maple syrup yeah, and dude. eat a case of <laughs> white castles. That ruins your day, dude. That ruins I will your die. day. No, you can't do anything like after chugging that die. much maple syrup. I will probably go into a diabetic coma. <laughs> I mean, you definitely I won't have be, diabetes. You definitely won't be leaving the toilet anytime soon. <laughs> I won't be leaving nowhere. Yeah, so we got this new drink of my chop. I'm not going to say where, but if I name the drink, you'll probably see commercials. It's fucking like soda with cotton candy, man. Like what? soda, syrup. Like, so it's green, and then, like, cotton candy on top. So it's top. pure sugar. I'm like, we're killing people. <laughs> slowly. <laughs> slowly but surely. Yeah, why don't you guys just sell insulin, people. like, you know, right at the counter? Jesus. <laughs> 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 that was friend, bad. Actually. That was so bad, bro. <laughs> and mine was bad, but yours is bad, bro. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> no, 10 points <laughs> off your points. <laughs> All right. That was good. Since that was bad, how about we five, go to the... Five points. Central laughing. How about we go to the next topic? I'm not fighting topic. I kind of have to... Uh, you always have to pee. Why? No, listen, it's always you, uh, so I don't want to hear... I made it through guys, two episodes you guys now both without pissing. Pee I think it's equal. I think it's equal. Two right? episodes without pissing. That's... Ooh. I've had to pee for the past ooh. 15 minutes, but I know that I'm You're good. a good guy, and then... That you can't hold me. it for 20 minutes? What's the next topic? Uh, Stormy Daniels and Trump. Oh, I gotta stay for this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hey, talk. you guys stay for the last topic also. Because, you know, it's... Uh, so, Stormy Daniels uh, is a... Wait, hold on, hold on. We are about to introduce... 21st century Hitler himself. Well, Trumpy, though. Damn, that's, that's... That's... I don't know if he's... I mean, he's not working towards mass genocide. Not yet, Or anyway. is he? <clears throat> Neither was Hitler when he first started. But dude, I, mean, uh, I think Hitler was. No comment. Uh, I think Hitler was aiming for those that. Those are my personal <laughs> beliefs, not the beliefs of of my crazy production. We have a disclaimer now. So Don't worry, we have a disclaimer. We have a disclaimer. Kids, okay. tell your parents that you're racist. <laughs> oh my what god. What the fuck? I don't know. Jesus. I'm just trying to reach the level of the fucked up shit that I tell the kids to do every week. Drink the green bottles. That's what I always say. Drink the green ones, not the brown. Don't drink the brown bottles. Only the green. The green are good for you. It's like Zelda. <laughs> you're wild. But no, so Stormy Daniels is a porn star. 
and she apparently had an affair with Trump back in like 06 and Anderson, okay. she, I thought she was stormy with an I but she's stormy with a Y she's well, the, classier than no, I thought the, she was the thing was she was paid off she's old school bro no yeah. the thing was she paid off a week before uh, I think he either won the election no right before his campaign started a week before his campaign started in 2016 no 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 no, 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 no paid no. off by a lawyer no no no, no 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 you're actually wrong you're actually wrong this is this six. is why it's this is why it's. Thought only, I watched a video today. No, this on is sixty why, minutes. No, this is why it's this is why it's actually almost illegal because he did it before the week of his election. Here's why, because I remember oh. on sixty minutes. Whoops. They were bringing up how why it was a big deal that they paid paid her off during that time because like apparently that's something with like, you can't really do that during elections. You can't pay people off to be quiet around. That yeah. close to election, and the reason why I remember them specifically saying shady something. Shady campaign practices or the, shady political. So, I don't know. Like There's, I don't no, know the specific. A crook. I don't know the specific. Yeah. I don't know the specific thing. I just watched it and then Is I tried really to record it though because he found a loophole. Well, no. Here's the thing. Well, they got so mad. At, everybody got mad at Hillary for doing this. So. Well, no. Here's why I know. Just saying. Right. What were you saying Hillary for? Continue, Matt. Being a crook? Please. She was but, a crook. <laughs> I'm yeah, not exactly. Sure. She was. Exactly. She, but no. That's my point. They both are. But continue, Matthew. But no, my point was, I also remember them specifically saying the reason why he probably did this was because the grab her by the pussy thing happened. And that was a cl- like a couple months before the uh, can- before the election. So they're bringing up the, you know, the, the great, the great, the, the infamous, the-, the infamous, that's the word I'm looking for, the infamous grab her by the pussy line. But yo, the interview was fucking hilarious. She was spanking Trump with his a magazine of his face on it. I don't think it does anything to Ill- illegitimize his character, though. I'm not gonna lie. After watching that, I was like, "Damn, wow!" I thought she had something to fucking say, and she. Oh didn't. no, no, she just she just said some wild sex shit. But we we've she all really done some didn't. wild sex she shit. She had nothing to say. Except for me. Yeah, she just said some shit, and you know what's gonna happen is that people are gonna uh, twist it to be like, "Yeah, it's just Trump being a human." You know what I personally think? Everybody's the to. same, which is crazy. I just, dude, I can't, I can't get down with the the hypocrisy. The only thing fucked up is he's cheating. Within, yeah, of course, um, that's the fucked up part. I don't people who support altering. Trump, man, people who support Trump, they 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 love being hip- hypocrites. Well, mm-hmm. yeah, that's true. They want to call people who don't agree with them snowflakes, and then get upset when a porn star that's why starts I call getting them snowflakes on Facebook. Mad. I gotta stop doing that on Facebook. I call them snowflakes. As, yeah. At the people, who, I hate the fucking term snowflake because so both sides have fucking snowflakes. Exactly. You know, I, I, I've talked to a bunch of people from both sides that are like, Ooh, I just don't like that one side. Has shut the, the fuck up. Facts. I just don't like how one side has used the word snowflake as if the other side is the only one that does it. So that's why exactly. I call it. Both, that's why I call it to the other side. I'm just like, yeah, we're both snowflakes. And then, but <laughs> then we get back to the other problem where I think that the yeah, I'm gonna just say it. I guess the Republican side of things. And I, I, you know what I mean? I'm not fucking over here, like, saying I'll jump on every liberal bandwagon. I'm just saying that there's a lot of hypocrisy that exists within my, oh, yeah. my man got that s- shit. My man got spanked with a magazine of his face on it, then afterwards said to said to this woman, you remind me of my daughter Ivanka. That's All I can, yeah, so this, is, this man, is weird. And this you know man, what? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say for sure that she is, like, you know, Using a, a situation to change the context, I'm sure he didn't turn him around immediately after getting well, no, spanked no. and be like, "You remind me of my daughter." <laughs> like I'm, I'm almost <laughs> positive that didn't happen. I'm sure it went a little bit differently. I saw, you know, the, I saw I'm just Anderson, saying. Anderson Cooper uh, uh, interviewed on CNN because he's got a show on CNN. Another playmate or Playboy model that he used to date. And uh, she said that he used to. He's very proud of Ivanka, and he used to talk about her a lot. Yeah, compare, and compare bro, her to I'm him really a lot. Treat, gonna lie, really, he probably really did some weird fucking shit. I don't know why anybody is above being like. Well, no, that's all I'm saying. It's just that's like, out of the realm. I'm of just question. wondering why he doesn't love his other daughter. He's got two daughters. And yeah, because that's the one he was fucking. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next topic now. Yo, they replace. I was going on Pornhub the other day. <laughs> Matt's favorite website As one does Call it how Do I you see spend it. any other time On any other website More than Pornhub MyCrazyProductions.com <laughs> I'm not I'm not no, no, no. I'm not talking about Creating content For your website No I I'm talking watch, actually Visiting a website I, wa- <laughs> I watch the best website ever MyCrazyProductions.com And then go to Pornhub afterwards Then go back to MyCrazyProductions Or he does a split window <laughs> 
I only do that when I'm on my PC because no, I got two Miles. Windows. He, he just realized he can do that. He's like, oh shit, I can do that. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I, do, I do that on my I do that on my PC because I got two dual monitors, so I could have one. With Bro, you gotta stop talking about your porn habits on. Fucking well, no, this is a big deal because I was gonna do. I, I'm not. Gonna I feel ex- like this do is we porn have therapy. any way of, of, of getting income yet? Are we on like a Patreon or some shit yet? No, we're not. Okay. So. We're gonna do that because we need to like support Maddie's wardrobe life makeover type deal, so yeah, we can I, get this man a social life. You see, yes. I'm not even talking about getting laid. You we'll, got, we'll worry about that later. We just need to get him a social facts. life first. Here's yeah. the thing: all this gear is expensive. If you this notice, I wear the We're same. Sh- <laughs> <laughs> if you wear, the, I wear the same shoes with holes in it. I'd be wearing the same t- three T-shirts every week because I'd be buying all this gear because I'm. It's about the hustle. Facts. I want you it's to go back to the other episodes, and I want you to tell me how many fucking times this guy's will, wait, worn the Stay Golden shirt. Yeah, I think Fact. it's at least twice. Uh, at least. It, twice because it, it was th- at least three times. I know that. For a fact. Three yeah. times, one didn't air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably one didn't air. And yeah. we're on episode seven? Eight? Eight. Eight? Eight. So that's like 50% right there. Technically, we're on episode 10, though, if we actually had all of them. It's like 33 to 50% right there. <laughs> they they changed the cow- casting couch guy? <laughs> yeah, facts. What? <laughs> you brought us back on top of it. <laughs> Yo. Fucking pee. <laughs> Yo, so I was going on Pornhub the other day. Sorry. As sorry a, as I don't know why I waved too well. <laughs> I'm sorry. Second time up. What, Thank so, God that was empty. As as one does, I was on. Oh, oh yeah, we're still recording. As one does, I thought I saw a weird glare. As one does, I was on Pornhub, watching, and then I saw a casting couch video. I haven't seen one in a while because Pornhub has been, as we talked about the first episode, they've been doing this weird thing where they've only recommended incest porn for Maddie the past year. Maddie loves the stepsister on stepbrother. I, fuck, I <laughs> fucking hate that shit. But the backroom casting couch has a deep place Whoa. in my heart because that was one of the first um, porn, I guess, uh, series best term for it that I, I watched like that's another good conversation like, what was your <laughs> first porn but move on <laughs> that, was my, that was one of my first por- my first porn was Playboy I'm old school still yo me too actually yeah facts then it was idthrow.com but off of LimeWire alright facts side note so, <laughs> I, so I, I saw a casting couch video for the first time in years which by the way I don't agree with people manipulating women but I know it's all fake so that's why it's cool but so I was watching it then I noticed the guy's different the voice is different. I know they blur the face, but the voice is different. And then TMI, the 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 dude's dick's bigger. Jesus Christ, this man. This just goes to show you how much time you spent on porn. <laughs> Yo, not for nothing, too. Like, why even... are you looking at the dude? I mean, you got to. It's in the shop. But yeah, no. And if, you see this, if you see the series, <laughs> if you watch the full series, then you're going to see it multiple times. What happens that's to the one, old, you know, like... That's the one thing that stays the same is that guy. You're telling me you don't know male porn stars? That's like no, se- I really right. don't. At this I'm point, not gonna it's like lie. I do. Actually, no, I know one, and that's only because of like I used to watch the fucking uh, the real sex on HBO, the documentary shit. Bullshit. You know Ron Jeremy. Facts. Oh, sorry, two, <laughs> two. The other guy, the other guy was Evan James Stone, Dean. Stone. James Dean. I think James Dean. Everybody was. knows James Dean. Everyone from James Dean. I thought I thought they just made uh, sandwich patties. Jimmy, that's Jimmy Bean. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh no, Jimmy Dean's. Jimmy Dean. And is it? But no, so they replaced the dude. And I'm anno- so I started looking back in other videos, and I realized there, and for, there's I a certain there's a certain point where he actually was in the videos with him, and then he brought this dude in. Right. But now I it's can't the point. Wait anymore, guys. I'm sorry. No, you're good. My but, bad. <laughs> but now it's at the point. Tapping out, tapping out. It's I, okay. I had to. I had to. You're good. But uh, now it's at the point where this guy's just completely taken over. And I started looking up, like, articles. Apparently, the original guy allegedly got an STD, so maybe that's why he had to get a new dude. Maybe he shouldn't have been sticking his dick where it didn't belong. But all I'm saying is, like, they replaced, like... It's like when they replaced, replaced Steve from Blue's Clues. It's kind of like that for me right now. You know Steve wanted to leave, right? I know. Like, he didn't go on a porn binge no, 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 he didn't no, no, go no. die in a hole in, no, no, like, no, no, fucking No, 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 I know he's still alive, but, like, when Steve he left... He went to college, man. <laughs> yeah, facts. Did you watch Blue's Clues? Actually, I looked into it, and I, I actually know the truth behind the whole story. No, I know. No, he was he going went bald. to college. I don't care what you say. He was going bald. I know. And he wanted... It was growing up. He wanted to be, get out of it. And then they replaced him with Joe. Who Dude, they're up, casting for a new ru- Blue's Clues guy. I know. They end up ruining the show with Joe. Steve is the only one that no, could No, you get. know they're casting, like, right now? I know. April 4th. Yeah. In LA. Like, you could still... Open like, casting call. We're how not, the hell do you guys know that shit? It, they've been posting everywhere. Bro, they really um, were, like, advertising I'm sticking to my shit. indie roots. I, don't, I just I'm I was not, like thinking I, about like just sending in an audition tape like in a striped sweater. No, no. I don't, I, don't, I know I don't have the, the Josh hand. 
I don't I'm have Josh. The lungs. And that would be my thing. They had what was it? Steve, Joe, Josh. That's perfect. That's a perfect blend. No, Steve is the only one. I'm not. I'm, see, that's the th- but that's how I feel about yeah, this Joe casting. Sucked. That's Fuck how Joe. I, facts. That's how I feel about this casting couch guy. Like he I mean, doesn't have the charisma. I don't feel him. I mean, it's porn though, man. Like, how much do you really? Give I care about, about the whom? interview. The interview Shit. was always. The interviews were always hilarious. It right. was fake, but the questions they asked. I forget you watch porn for different reasons than most males. <laughs> yeah, this thing is really. You should <laughs> just become a porn director. I'm, I'm realizing it now. He should just be do porn. Just give up my crazy productions and make it my crazy. My porn. crazy porn productions. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we actually have five on that one. You guys are wild. No, I don't want to do my porn. crazy porn productions. Come on, I'm not gonna do porn, guys. Yo, so Matt comment do below porn. if you think Matt should just start directing. Just start porn. directing porn. I'm not gonna Make start more directing. money. Although I, I have legitimately thought <laughs> money anyway. I have legitimately thought about it. If I did do it, you I'd should... be the best porn director of all time. My I'm crazy just porn productions. I don't know. Ha! Ah. I've seen enough where I know what not to do. I will. If you guys, I'm just saying the porn industry, all you directors out there that in the porn industry, I don't mind being cocky about this because I don't plan on being in this industry. If I got into this directing thing, none of you would have jobs anymore. Hold on, I just want to ask you a question. You'd though. be the only porn director because be I, I would take over the for amateur over porn the is still. Well, yeah, yeah, no, there's still amateur porn, but as far as the major porn, I would take all of your jobs. Theoretically, be speaking, lucky I don't direct porn. Who would be your cameraman? I can handle the camera, don't worry. All right, no, I'm okay with this. All right, so yeah, but are you okay with getting like, that, having no, no. like a dude that was balls, my concern. like hovering over I your head make sure while I you're wasn't. trying to get an under point of view shot? I wanted to make sure I wasn't handling the camera. Oh, uh, oh, Yeah, facts. you didn't think about that, huh? Fuck, uh. Accidents happen. I got yeah, the intern. Yeah, bro, I got you might intern. end up getting a Roman helmet one day when you're trying to fucking film. We got, we got an intern for those shots now. <laughs> shout, oh. out to my, shout out to the My Crazy Productions intern Joe Rico. We're kidding. Oh, we're not. Man. We're not gonna make him do. We're obviously yeah, kidding. We, for HR reasons, we're obviously I'm kidding. We're not, not gonna do that. You just lost your intern, Maddie. It's a no. <laughs> no, we're good. <laughs> obviously, I'm Joe's kidding. Like, all of a sudden, Matt's like, just so you know, we're switching to do porn now. That's what we're doing. So I mean, you already signed the contract. Um, let's get started. Uh, we're gonna need you to start taking over clothes. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> that's, that's it's weird, weird, Matt. Just so you were thinking that. Obviously, it's weird. It's, it's pretty weird. <laughs> obviously, it's my yeah, crazy right. porn inductions. I said it like four times now. You see what I did? Yeah. Obviously, it's just a joke. I'm not gonna do that. But seriously, I would take over the porn game. Y'all don't want me in that game. I will t- take all y'all jobs. Oh my god. I'm saying it now. <sighs> that's all derived from 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 a casting couch. It's like Steve leaving Blue's Clues. I, I don't know, man. I feel like you're the only one who's truly You feeling... want to find yourself to be a porn director. No, I think I don't. that's why. No, I don't want to be Maddie, a porn director. I, have no, I feel like I've you should absolutely... go to a monastery, bro. You need help. <laughs> I know. I need to see, like, a psychiatrist. I need a lot of help. You need to seek enlightenment. Check you yourself need... in for, like, you know, I care about work. Days. What can I say? I'm a workaholic. And then... When porn? It... <laughs> porn is not your work! <laughs> yeah, but you need to get off all that energy from working all day. Hey. If you really worked, you shouldn't have energy. Ooh, you got a fact. I mean, but I, I always got energy to do my thing, though. You know what I'm saying? I also don't. You guys forget. I well, no, you guys don't for. forget. I don't get because I, I like I don't I don't I don't get out there that more. Like you know? hit your friends up, do other things other than movies. No, no, no. Yeah, but I'm talking. About, like, you got to get out that energy, and you know it's. Oh it, no! I hear it's, you. It's a dry. I hear you, but hit your boys up. They'll I'm, take what? you out. To no. no, start <laughs> doing porn, man. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't saying that either, but I was saying hit your boys up, go out night on the town type deal, meet some females, and start doing porn. Mingle with the other sex, and you should you know, just go to New Paltz and and tell some girl you got a. I have no idea. You got a porn studio. <laughs> I don't know where to stay. Can you let me stay in your house? <laughs> That's what um. It's someone, desperate, but you can. No, nah, someone from yeah. No, so a lot of people have said go to New Paltz because like they have, you know college is there with dorms. But I'm like, no, I'm not. Check I'm not the STD rate first. Yeah, facts. No, I, I don't. I don't like you know. I like to. I like to be in love. You know, I like to cuddle afterwards. I don't want to just. I don't want. You ain't gonna be in love the first time that like. Unless it's well, like love, that golden love, goose. Not, Listen, man. Not love, love, but you know what I mean. I, I, I want to groovy, but I want to have some me- connection with the girl. And that's yeah, fine. That's I'm not a cancer. Yeah, no, no, that's no, that's hundred percent. I'm a cancer. I right. heard, but in order to have that, you have to first meet an individual of the opposite sex. I in know, order to right, do well, that, you need to go out. Let's not let's yes. not let's not get misconstrued. I know a lot of women. 
Hey, yo. <laughs> but. Hey, yo. There's, All right, but knowing a lot of women ain't helping your situation if you ain't hanging out with those women. If it's well, a no, situation, it, then it better be a lituation. No, no, because a lot, all those are, are friend situations. Well, then it's knowing a, friend a lot of women still ain't helping your situation, brother. Yeah. Well, no, exactly. But I want you to make, <laughs> yeah. I, I get, but don't, I don't want the audience to think that I don't know any, like you guys are the only people I talk to. He wants to. you to know he's These not These are the only three nah. people that Matt knows. <laughs> 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 he don't even have parents. Oh my God. Pretty sad, they, right? They disowned me. Well, I just got dark. Yeah. No, no, no. I still, I still live in my parents' basement. It's all good. <laughs> I, I, I think I liked it better. Quite when you literally. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, what did you you wanted to talk about something you saw on Twitter today, Josh? It was oh, fucking ridiculous. Man, what the fuck's going on with y'all and your uh, gender reveals? Gender reveals. You're talking about babies. Yeah, babies. Babies. Yeah, Fuck be babies. Specific nowadays. Babies. Yeah, don't, don't, nowadays, yeah. a gender reveal can mean like, even so an adult. Let me just go on for yeah. a little bit. Let me just go on for a little bit. Like, oh, yeah, you're right. Gender reveal can lot, mean a lot of things. You mean yeah, baby gender turn around corner on Babies. Babies. That's the next step. I don't really like fucking babies. What? I don't care. Fucking fuck babies. They're annoying. Don't babies fuck are babies. so fucking annoying. Don't They're fuck like, babies. They're like, they cry and scream and they're, they, sure. Some people think they're cute. I don't. I think they all look this fucking same. They all look the same. I'm like, oh, your baby's so cute. Yeah, just as cute as uh, Delancey's baby. And just as cute as Nina's baby. And fucking Tracy's baby. They all look the same because they're babies. They're fucking mushy and ugly. Yeah. And no one fucking cares, man. No one cares if your baby's cute. I hate people with kids, bro. You want to talk about your kids all day. Oh, my kid did this. Oh, you should have seen it. My kid today was... Uh, this was a real story I got at work the other day. My kid was singing... Twinkle, twinkle, little star in an angry voice today. It was so cute. No, that's not fucking what? cute. It's not that fucking sounds cute. Demonic. Sounds like your baby has a fucking issue. Why was it so pissed off? I don't know. But either way, it's not fucking cute. I sing I can't. songs in angry tones all the fucking time, but not twinkle, twinkle, little star. I sing angry songs in angry tones. Get it right. Sounds like your kid's an idiot. Furthermore, gender reveals. I watch just fucking Louisiana people. <laughs> People in Louisiana, they were fucking putting a watermelon that was colored on the inside, which I'd like to know where I get a blue watermelon from. <laughs> but yeah. they were opening up the alligator's mouth and putting the watermelon Ball in there. Mound. What are you doing? <laughs> That's an alligator, people. Link down, d- link down <laughs> below for, for this video. Cause... What are you fucking doing? That's so stupid. You're so dumb. That's all I got to say. I just don't understand the point. I, I was so hoping the guy, the guy's hand was going to get bitten off. You already have a baby shower. What's the point of a gender reveal? Imagine you lose your arm and you get a baby. That sucks. You can only carry him with this hand. Can't feed him. Can I personally just go to state? I love when people on Facebook make their child their profile picture and then you later on see that they're in a relationship with somebody. It's weird. It, I think it's hilarious because then you see so-and-so. Oh, it's yeah. a picture of a small child in a relationship with so-and-so. A picture yeah. of some oh, yeah. old person. I'm like, <laughs> you know what's the funny part? Something's about? not right here. It's always yeah. creepy to look at. Yeah, yeah what's the funny part about <laughs> like, that? Mm, God, I haven't been part of the Facebook world in so long, but the funnier part about that to me is that, like, that's really who they're getting in a relationship with, though. Like, is the child. Oh, absolutely. Like, you just adopted a kid. You just adopted a kid. If you date somebody who has a kid, you adopted that kid. Mm-hmm. It sucks. You better not fucking it sucks get in there if in the you impressionable don't want kids. age. If you get in there in the impressionable age, you fucked up because now mom's going to be mad and that kid's going to have a grudge against you. That's fucking weird. That's all I'm gonna say. Fuck kids. Get I upset to me, guys. Yeah. Yo, you know what I hate wait, the most no, fuck about the sex kids. Me, Dusty, what's that 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 implant surgery thing? Oh, we going there. So, folks, pay attention. Take a trip to India for thirty dollars. You can get two implants of cocker, <clears throat> positively charged balls into your testicles. Now, I know how painful that sounds, but the balls are tiny, and so is the needle. It's a one pinch for thirty dollars. A hundred percent effective. And zero side effects. You a will copper ball? A it's small like a positive charged or, uh, excuse me, negative charged ion copper ball. And they just stick in your testicles. And since sperm is positively charged, it zaps all the sperm on the way out, killing it instantaneously. So you're shooting blanks. And it's 100% effective. Char- no. They tested it up to 10 years so far. Zero side effects. Why and is it not is in America? Reversed because the FDA won't approve it. Because it's going to give you cancer. They're putting electricity in your dick. No, you're wrong. No. You it, already have electricity on your body, dude. Yeah. You're a, a positively charged yeah. individual. Yeah. If, so wait, why won't like they do it? Positive. They make a lot, huh? too much money off birth control. Too much, yeah. 
if they brought it over oh. here because it's reversible for like an extra 15 bucks so for 45 bucks i believe you can reverse it and it's effective for 10 years zero side effects so it's going to beat out any form of birth control you have on the market right now for just a pinch in your testicles and yes you're bugging out and you're grabbing pinch your nuts up. but it's literally just a pinch in your testicles uh, stop it's saying e- it's just a pinch no in it's equi- t- they say uh-huh. it's equivalent to that of like when you get a needle in your mouth from a dentist and yeah testicles. i mean fuck it dude i would get birth control for Bro, a guy that's never having great. kids and i don't have to get cut open yeah i'm about that life does it go out through your urethra no they just right in the testicle Right in the testicle, a small little needle. Oh, so it's going actually in my ball, too. Yeah. Ooh, does that hurt? It's, it's, like I said, it's a small pinch. But does it hurt afterward? I imagine that's a shot that hurts afterward. Did does it finally it, happen? Does it hurt? That, I didn't look into I didn't think about that. Yeah, does it yeah, hurt when you come? Huh? Does it hurt when you come? Because you, you're no, electric. Dude. <laughs> you you don't feel thinking, that. It's, a, it's yeah. an ion, bro. Yeah, we're talking small trace. We're Think of a static spark. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, just think, I'm just thinking of a porn superhero series where the dude has a, like electricity dick and then it's just like pshoo, pshoo, pshoo. this guy should be a porn director <laughs> just go into porn Maddie seriously you could, you could direct a whole movie about a superhero who's like Mr. Electric Dick and he's like from India and like that's how he saves you can make know. the next Dead Maddie's Revenge 3 hey there you go or Spongebob 4002 I don't I don't want to yeah, be a porn director that's I, just have great, I just have good ideas sometimes that's all I'm saying about porn <laughs> hey, no, some of my regular movie ideas are good, too. <laughs> Everyone's get really quiet. I see how Jimmy's that is. Jimmy's fading. Yeah, Jimmy's falling asleep. We should end um, this. We should zoom in on I've Jimmy's had- face every time he falls asleep here. Yo. Because it happens. When you, when you work a lot of hours... Early. Sorry. When you work when you work a lot of hours, you wake up at the ass crack of dawn every morning. Yeah, no, Jim actually works. <laughs> You're preaching to the choir. You work with kids, motherfucker. <laughs> you want to watch the kids I deal with? No, because I'd punt them. So many, and I work with technically adults. And furthermore, come see me back in the days when I used to work in the military. <laughs> I used to, I technically work at school with adults, but so, this past week, I don't know why. There's so no, many. No, you don't. They just think they're adults. I, the, dude, this week it's been really bad with them. They've been getting so, that I've just had to give, like, correct them on regular stuff, and they've been getting so emotional, like, like kids, and I'm just like, at this point, like, be- just because, like, I know this job's only, like, one more month that I have it because, like, that's just the deal. I'm just, like, I don't, I don't care. I don't care about that. I like, love I'm giving gonna, up. I'm an adult. I don't care about this extra stuff. I don't care if you're just, like, mad at me right now. Like, <laughs> this is don't the scrape, law. Don't scrape this. Oh, I am the I'm law. getting a hair out. Oh, don't worry. Just don't break it. Got it. Word. But yeah, no. Dude, something. Oh, fuck. These kids. These kids. These kids, man, they go all the while. They go all the while. They go all the while. And no, the thing is, I just want what's. I feel like a. I feel like a parent. I just want what's good with for them. <laughs> Faded. I think he's asleep, but no, I just want, I'm chilling right now. I just, but I just, I just I and Jim could test this because he had the job before me. I just, I just oh, want. Oh, I did. I just want what's best for them, and I just want to teach them the the right way, and then they just get sensitive because they think that I'm calling them dumb. Not that I, because when you're telling someone that they're doing something the wrong way, they in. in instinctively feel like you're calling them dumb depending on the you're person. You're stupid. Fuck you. It's... It, so, it, it's hard, like... You end up you end up becoming, like, a fucking guidance counselor. Like, yeah. And uh, it's fucking annoying as hell because you want to... You hear all the shit that you don't need to hear, but they're going to tell you anyways because they think it justifies reasoning. I don't know how either of y'all did that. If I was in that administration, I'd be walking around telling people that I don't give a fuck, clearly. I would say, hey... Figure it out. I because deep fuck. down, I give a fuck. <clears throat> I really care. Because I was in their position, and when I was in their position, the person who had my job at the time didn't like me, and really, like, he, at one time, I remember he closed early when I was, like, the only one there. Like, he would do stuff that would just, he would just think about himself first, and I remember how much that would annoy me on projects. So I genuinely care about, like, being there for the students because I, I know I, cause that's what I wanted when I was a student so that's, oh, but, wow, so sad bro <laughs> yeah I know it's weak I'm sorry I care R.I.P. <laughs> to caring not me the, kids let's not, let's not get that let's not get dark with that I'm don't not, care I'm about not going, nothing I'm not eating Tide Pods don't worry we're not doing kids, that kids eat Tide Pods throw back to the this first episode alright we should end it because Jim's gonna fall asleep and Faded. We, 
Y- y'all got to do the Roach Clips, which you, you guys sh- should also watch. I wanted to plug that because we actually kind of talked about a topic you guys already kind of discussed. Yeah, I was going to shout control. out, but I didn't know how you felt out about that, so I just kept my shit. No, I wanted to shout it out, but I'm glad that we waited to the end because then they got the full view of this one. Thanks. Now you guys can go check out the Roach Clips. Episode four is the one with gun control. Watch oh, all the episodes. Yeah. Bro, episode one's gun control. Oh, episode one's gun control? Oh, yeah. Oh, word. We yeah, came out oh, yeah, swinging yeah. on that you one. Can't. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I was like, oh, damn. That Watch was a- all of them, and if you don't, we don't want you following our channel. Unsubscribe, you little bitch. Wow, chill. I mean, I think my crazy production still wants your shit. Yeah, no, don't not, listen to Josh. Not me, though. There's a reason why we have disclaimers, and yeah, he's the not reason. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll see you next time. I'm Matt. Chicken tenders. <laughs> Dusty B here. JT. Nah, Gina's and- sleeping. And this has been the My Crazy Podcast, episode 8. We'll see you next time. Crack babies.